डी यूपीएससी सीएससी अगर आप केवल सिविल सर्विस परीक्षा के प्रीलिम्स मेंस और इंटरव्यू के वीडियो देखना चाहते हैं तो सब्सक्राइब करें डी के टी यू चैनल यहाँ आपको टॉपर्स के वीडियो रैंक के हिसाब से अरेंज मिलेंगे चैनल के लिंक के लिए डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में जाएं। गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज साहित्य एंड आई हैव सिक्योर रैंक ट्वेंटी फोर इन दिस सीओ सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट जुआलॉजी विच इज़ माई ऑप्शनल एंड एज यू मस्ट ऑल बी नोइंग दैट जुआलॉजी इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रेयरली टेकन अप सब्जेक्ट्स एंड आई हैव हैड दिस इंटरेस्ट टूवर्ड्स जुआलॉजी बिकॉज आई वॉज अ बाई पी सी स्टूडेंट विच इज़ बायोलॉजी फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री ड्यूरिंग माई प्लस वन एंड प्लस टू एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स आई एस्पायर्ड टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर एंड आई कुड नॉट बिकम अ डॉक्टर आई गॉट इन टू फार्मेसी एंड ड्यूरिंग माई फार्मेसी डेज ऑल्सो वी हैव स्टडीड मेनी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स विच आर अ पार्ट ऑफ जुआलॉजी सिलेबस फॉर यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विसेज examination and uh, because i have been a science student throughout my life i thought i would uh, probably have a better aptitude towards zoology and i would uh, uh, have uh, the a uh, good style of presentation of answers for my zoology and that is why i had taken up zoology but trust me zoology has been one of the primary reasons why i could not clear my exam in the initial years uh, because it has got very little overlap with general studies and because i have the love for learning and i would generally i would go through the standard textbooks many number of times and it, and i found it very very difficult to uh, uh, balance the preparation of zoology with general studies because both of them have been uh, somewhat somewhat fresh for me uh, so that is why i, I think uh, zoology has taken quite a bit of uh, my time uh, to prepare and uh, uh, nevertheless i did not uh, give up on zoology i stayed with it uh, throughout my attempts i had written four mains with uh, zoology and i have scored uh, the following marks in 2017 i scored uh, 210 in 2019 i scored 222 in uh, 2020 i scored 260 and in the last and final attempt in 2021 i scored 278 marks in my zoology so during the end uh, uh, attempts zoology has uh, handsomely contributed towards my score uh, but i think there are people who have scored much more in uh, uh, zoology nevertheless i have been able to uh, manage uh, zoology during the last uh, uh, attempts and it has been really helpful to boost my score so here's what i have done for uh, zoology i did uh, some classes from vishakhapatnam uh, with uh, uh, a teacher uh, i did get the basics of them but most of the preparation was on my own self study i followed the following textbooks or the websites or the toppers notes or uh, the handwritten materials and the materials which are available for zoology in the open market so i purchased them and i used to them for structuring and revision as well uh, but the standard textbooks that i followed or the sources that i followed were uh, these uh, for vertebrates and invertebrates that is for classification i followed uh, r l kotpal and uh, for uh, ecology and environment i did follow iraj barucha and also the internet which i have used and the handwritten material which was available in the market of different sources and uh, in addition to that ethology also i uh, followed uh, through internet and also the handwritten uh, material and the uh, material which is available for zoology in the market and in addition to that for economic zoology i followed uh, uh, iazoology.com in addition to kajal javla ma'am's notes uh, she got rank 28 in the year 2018 so she uploaded all her notes so i downloaded them and i followed that for economic zoology and uh, for uh, statistics bio statistics it's mostly internet and it is uh, uh, also the handwritten uh, material that i have uh, purchased from the market and in addition to that i followed for instrumentation because uh, it's it's a combination of both internet and the handwritten notes and afterwards uh, for paper 2 i mostly relied on standard textbooks for all of these uh, for cell biology i followed the uh, lodish although i feel that lodish is slightly exhaustive and one does not require that much of uh, thing so if you have already purchased any material from your classes or from the market make sure that you keep it to a 
it and uh, Laudish is helpful for diagrams especially for endoplasmic reticulum or for Golgi complex but for otherwise for mitochondria and all you don't require so much of it and um, Next for uh, uh, genetics, I followed the molecular biology of gene, which is written by Watson along with other authors. It's published by Pearson Publications. It's a very exhaustive book. It's a beautiful book, which gives you the practical inputs of genetics as well. But it's very exhaustive. And honestly, I don't think it is required because I have studied from that molecular biology of gene. My basics of genetics have been very, very strong. Uh, so that way it has been helpful. And other than that, I followed another textbook called as Hartle and Jones for genetics that has also been very good i downloaded the online copy and i followed it uh, uh, rigorously especially for pleiotropy or for mutation or for the other uh, uh, the aberrations of uh, mendelian genetics i think it's very good in hartland jones but i think that is once again very exhaustive follow one good textbook for genetics so that all your concepts are clear it is either through online or through the standard textbooks and finally you can go through the material which is available in the market for your structuring and for your quick revision and in addition to genetics, I think I must say um, we have evolution. For evolution, once again, I followed Kajal Javla Ma'am's notes and also the material that I purchased from the market. And uh, for uh, same goes for systematics. It's mostly internet and the notes that I had purchased. And uh, for uh, uh, biochemistry, it is you Satya Narayana, uh, which really helps you for uh, uh, the basics of biochemistry, especially the structure of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. And in addition to that, if you have to uh, talk about the enzyme kinetics and all that, it is very helpful. Uh, so you can go through that. Leninger is very exhaustive. I did go through that, but I think it is not required for this exam. In general, if you've studied and if you're an MSc graduate or if you're a BSc honors graduate, then you must be knowing uh, uh, what books are better this is for people who are not from that background but who are from allied fields so i'm talking about them and uh, for uh, physiology i have followed tortora uh, tortora i have been following since my b pharmacy days i found it very very useful because it's 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 beautiful it has got very good description very good diagrams very good uh, photographs as well so tortora has been of great help tortora i have used it not only for physiology but i used it for understanding the concepts of cell biology for biochemistry for developmental biology as well because it covers the concepts until fertilization as well and if you talk about developmental biology i did follow gilbert i religiously studied uh, for uh, cell induction pathways or uh, cell interactions and for metamorphosis and um, Mm, the different signaling pathways it has been very very beautiful if you have time you can always follow that and uh, make uh, notes out of definitions as well so as far as making notes is concerned for zoology i did try it in the initial years but i thought it was not needed because it is mostly combination of your technical definitions along with your diagrams which i would practice or which i would underline from the textbooks itself and from the notes that i purchased so that's what i did i never enrolled in any test series from any of the institutes I just bought uh, the materials which are available in the market which were very helpful for revision so uh, in addition to following the standard textbooks that is the help that I had taken and for zoology the only suggestion that I would have uh, to people is that if you're fresh pass outs out of zoology or if your uh, desire is very much burning towards zoology then opt for it or otherwise be wise be wise in choosing it because it takes up an inordinate amount of time for uh, many many candidates uh, so if you are willing to pay the price then you can choose zoology but i wish you all the very best and if you have good enough of uh, time good enough uh, uh, amount of time then you can go for zoology because it will teach you so many things about animals and about life in general and about technical competence uh, but if you have little time at your hand then i would suggest you to choose your optional wisely thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to talk about zoology